Hi guys. Um, I wanted to do a video where I teach you guys how I do some of my favorite readings, which are the energy readings. Um, so let me put this back on the table. I wanted to have a video to put out on my YouTube channel and I am really, really loving my energy readings that I do. Um, and a lot of you guys will ask questions about how I do it or whatnot. Um, so some of my tips, some of my, um, these are just tips. You don't have to do it this way. But some of my tips for doing energy readings, number one, you got to feel it out. You got to feel out the client um, even before you start the reading. So um, feel out what decks would be best for them. If you don't have a, a feeling of what deck would be good, then have certain decks that you feel would be best for the reading. So some of my favorite ones for energy readings are chakra cards. I really love to pull chakra cards for energy readings. I feel like it, it gives you a, an idea of what chakra to work on um, for the client, okay? Um, I also like to pick some oracle decks, so at least one or two that really just get you going, okay? Gaia Oracle is one of my favorites for that for these. Um, they The messages through the Gaia Oracle are just super intense. Um, they're very shadow aspect type of messages as well at times. The Earth Magic Oracle is another favorite. Um, I absolutely love this deck for <laughs> for energy readings because it really like gives you something to think about and it invites that nature aspect into it too so it, that kind of like ignites my intuition on another level um another oracle deck i would recommend but i don't have it here would be the crystal angels oracle some crystal even a crystal oracle like Something that'll give you an actual physical object for the client to utilize in their reading. So if you pull a certain crystal for the client, that could be homework for them to work more with that crystal. Um, what else? Um, maybe some astrological cards, some zodiac cards. Um, I do have like a, an astrology reading card um, deck that would be good too. Something that just, you know adds a little bit of a flavor, even color cards. Color cards could be good energy reading cards too. Um, another deck that I like to use with my um, energy readings is the Angel Answers because it gives you a time frame. okay? So sometimes um, when, you're, when you're reading about something energetically, you wanna have a time frame to give to your client. So I find that these, these cards work really great for that. Um, or if you have another Oracle deck that does something similar, that would be a good one too. Major Arcana decks are also really, really good because I like to pull a Major Arcana specifically for the main energy, the main focus of their, their vibe. Um, so I will pull a, my, a Major Arcana deck out for that purpose. I have this one, it's it's by, um, it doesn't, she doesn't, I don't think she put her name on her own deck. Designed by Broken isn't bad. So she came out with these Major Arcana cards not too long ago. I believe they're already out of print. I don't know if she's gonna do another Major Arcana run, but I know she's working on the entire tarot deck. So um, follow her on Instagram, Broken Isn't Bad. Um, and she has these beautiful decks, these beautiful cards that she literally hand drew herself. Like her artwork is beautiful. Um, but anyways, I like to have a major arcana deck to pull for the main signifier card for the client to represent their overall energy, that kind of thing. So I do recommend um, a major arcana deck for that. If you don't have one, you can just literally pull the major arcanas out of a tarot deck, but then I would recommend having two tarot decks so that you could pull the majors from one and then have another deck to pull the actual cards, which brings me to the tarot. So some sort of tarot deck, I'm, I've been using the Crow Tarot for my clients, um, but any kind of tarot deck will work. I have the white tarot over here as a backup. I always have, I always have a backup tarot deck on my table when I'm reading, just in case. Um, I also recommend an animal deck too, so like that to go along with the oracles, an animal deck. So I've been using the animal spirit oracle, um, but I find just to get an extra energy out of it. I don't know, I just, that's what I like to do. I like to use multiple decks for a single reading. <laughs> um, and then what I like to do is I pull one from each basically. 
And I like to work in threes with the tarot, so I usually pull three tarot cards, and then I'll pull one from the majors, one from the chakra cards, one from the animal, or the crystal, or whatever the whatever you're using, um, and do the reading like that. And basically, you you're when you're shuffling the cards, you are reading for the intention of that person's energy. What does their vibration look like right now? What you know? What do they need more of in life? So let's do a mock reading for myself. <laughs> myself. Let's just let me read for myself. Let me put me on the spot since I'm always posting about everybody else I read for. So the first thing I would do is pull from the majors my energy right now. And then sometimes I like to keep it face down until I pull the other cards that I'm using. So I'm going to pull from the animal deck and then I'm going to pull a chakra card. Oop, I already pulled, well, <laughs> I saw what it was, but I'm going to leave it like that. And then a chakra card. Like I said, you could use any of the oracle cards you want to use. And then I would pull the tarot. So like I said, the tarot, I like to work in threes. So I'll pull, oh, there we go. Three or um, tarot cards. And then usually like from there, I will do the reading. And then if I feel like I need more, then usually that's when I'll pull an angel answers card. <coughs> Let's use this one. And then um, sometimes like with the angel answers, that's when I would pull like uh, the earth, earth magic or some, you know, an oracle card. So I'm just doing it real fast to show you guys. You have seen me put these videos up though. But this is to give you an idea, an idea of how, let's shuffle again. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, too. Um, to give you guys an idea of how I do the reading. So first off, I would talk about, okay, my energy right now. So all of these top three cards are gonna reveal my energy. So I pulled the sacral chakra, personal power, bam. The cosmic egg, which is the spirit, the spirit card, the spirit energy, because of the, the symbol at the top. And the empress freaking love it. So <laughs> um, for the sake of my reading, so the Empress energy is Mother Earth or Mama energy. This is very um, creation, creative. She's empowered. She's beautiful. She's, she's, she embodies the feminine energy. So I would say my current energy right now is that of the feminine. I'm really feeling myself right now. I'm probably feeling super creative and super like on top of the world about my business and me, <laughs> the cosmic egg. So for the cosmic egg, for the animal spirit, usually I have the guidebook out. So just for the sake of that, the cosmic egg is um, the seventh chakra, which is the crown chakra. And then it's also glimpsing enlightenment and the infinite. So to me, this is just kind of like feeling super spiritual right now on fire. I feel like it's just like I'm super connected to to all of my guides and just super connected to everything all over the place. And I'm also very protective of it because the snake wrapped around that cosmic egg reminds me of just protection, okay? So I'm in a good place right now. I'm feeling protected. And also I feel like that's maybe spirit has a protection on me. They're, 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 sh they're showing me that they are loving and protecting me as well. Um, so the fact that I got crown chakra and the sacral chakra, which the sacral is all about your um, creation also with the empress, very fertile energy here for me going on right now. So this is a really good time, a good day, um, a good vibration to create, which is obviously I'm doing a video right now. So boom, um, but it's also personal power. So I'm just really feeling completely good. Let's see what the tarot says. So the tarot, we have the two of cups. We have the five of swords and we have 
the temperance card. I love it. So to me, the tarot cards would be saying, um, my connection with my clients, the two of cups is making me think of that too. My one-on-one -on -one with my clients, um, the readings and whatnot dealing with that. But also there is the mental conflicts here with the five of swords. So there are some mental conflicts there. Um, the two of cups and five of swords would be those mental conflicts that I was having earlier with my husband. I was on the phone with him and just expressing to him how much I miss him. That's a two of cups energy. Um, but at the same time, you know, I was a little bit stressed about the upcoming test he has tomorrow. So <laughs> it's almost like it's there. It's there in the shadow, but you know, it's there. It exists. And then the temperance card to me is all about balance. She She's all about balancing your heart and soul, balancing the physical with the the, the spiritual, balancing, you know, my, my body, mind, and soul, all of the above. Um, so to me, today would be a good day to make sure that I'm taking care of all elements of myself, my heart, my, my mind, my body, um, and making sure that I'm well balanced and just tr being nice to myself, basically. And having patience, even though there may be some mental conflicts. This card can also reflect the nightmares I've been having. I've been having nightmares the last couple nights, which I know is usually due to stress. Um, so there is an underlying stress level there, but at the same time, I'm also really good energetically. So at least that's how I'm seeing it. <laughs> um, so the Oracle cards that I pulled, Ocean, the Ebb and Flow, which is so me. Um, the ocean, the ebb and flow is like, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. Sometimes we gain a lot. Sometimes we lose stuff, you know, sometimes it's a good day. Sometimes it's shit. So it's the ebb and flow. And to me, this reminds me of my Gemini rising where some days I'm with it. Other days I'm like scatterbrained all over the place. Um, so I love that. And then also we have dance or celebration. So that tells me to remind myself to find positives and even some of the negatives. And it's funny because dance, I was actually dancing um, in my room today like I had some music playing when I was cooking and I was dancing I was just you know being goofy and I don't usually do that <laughs> I don't usually do that but I'm home alone who's gonna see me who's gonna judge me so I love that that dance card came up it's kind of like spirit was like we saw you and then the angel answers we have yes so if you pull a card like this, I would tell myself, if there's something on your mind that you've been having a question about, then obviously the answer would be yes. Um, or, you know, yes, this is a good time. Yes, this whole reading is accurate. Or yes, you know, go through with whatever it was you were thinking of doing or blah, 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 blah. So that was a pretty cool reading. I'm actually excited about the Cosmic Egg. I'm going to open up the, the actual guidebook for this deck and read up more about that. Um, but yeah, that is basically a quick tutorial for you guys of how I do my energy readings. Um, obviously approach your own energy reading in your own way, but this is just the way that works for me and the way I like to do it. Also though, it's not just pulling cards and revealing the card messages. It's also, what are you feeling as you connect, you know? So, um, of course you'll be doing that too with your clients. You'll be connecting with them and sometimes spirit messages come through as they have been for me with my clients but the cards will just be a tool to enhance the experience. So tell me guys what you think. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, my loves.